Hey guys, we're on our second to last big photo assignment. So you've got a bit of extra time on this one this week um, in this section um, because I really want you to put a lot of thought in your work and um, find and build images that really fit the assignment. So in this week's assignment, we are looking at our first of our conceptual assignments. So the, a, a conceptual assignment means that the, there's a theme or a creative inspiration for the images. So in this week, we are using a song as a point of inspiration for making art. Now, some, some songs are very emotional. I mean, if you watch a movie, there's a soundtrack to most of our modern movies that literally help feed the emotion that the creators want us to have. You'll even see if you ever use the like sound uh, subtitles, it'll say like inspirational music or threatening music or spooky music. Um, it will actually tell you <laughs> what kind of music's playing and how that music is trying to affect your emotional reaction to what you're viewing on the screen. So this is kind of in that same venue. You can use any type of music country, classic, rap, the polka, whatever you like to listen to or whatever you find inspirational, um, you can use for the assignment. So the idea here is not to have a literal interpretation of the assignment. So if you love the song Pocket Full of Sunshine, we are literally not taking a picture of someone pulling the sun out of their pocket. Um, we're taking a picture that gives the same feeling as that song gives you or reacts reaction. So if when you listen to that song, you feel happy and free, like what's an image that gives you that same quality of feeling? Is it kids playing on a playground? Is it dogs running in the field? Is it you riding full gallop on your horse? Um, what is what what part of that song how that emotion when you listen to it how can you create an image that creates that same emotion for you so I, I ironically we are also turning it a new thing this week um and that's going to be either a web link to that song um youtube is a great place has pretty much everything ever on the planet on it at this point so you can just use a, a youtube link to that um, song or you can put uh, um, an artist name, title, etc. in there. But in your concept sheet's going to be really important this week because you need to kind of explain like this is the song, this is why I chose it, this is how it makes me feel, and this is why I chose to photograph this object or this scene um, because it makes me feel this way as well. And then it, just explain that in, you know, as a little bit more detail. So that concept sheet you've had lots of practice on at this point, but it's crucial for explaining why and how you got to this point for the assignment. You will be taking two pictures for the um, assignment. Uh, this is can depict different parts of your song. It can pick two different songs. It could be maybe your song has a hopeful point and a sad point. So you, maybe you do both of those types. Uh, maybe it's just two images that go together in um, illustrating that feeling. So if it's that hopeful, upbeat, maybe it's a beautiful landscape and the galloping horse. You know, like you can you can have a pair of images speak together. Um, those are actually called diptychs um, when there's two of two images paired together to look at one photo or as one photo. So. There's lots of ways to depict your final two images. Obviously, do edit them. Uh, make sure that they, and again, in editing, <laughs> can create some mood. So um, editing can be really crucial for these last two assignments because they'll also help um, give that sense of mood. So maybe if your songs dark and spooky, like you can use dark imagery, real high contrast, get that in film noir feeling. Um, so there's lots of options there. And then we will be looking at the 1970s. Um, and that's going to be 
also very interesting time in the world. Um, lots of really cool images happening there in all sorts of genres. So I look forward to seeing that. Um, the life um, photo essay of Paris is a really nice one of looking at how you can kind of set a mood or a place. Um, Edward Weston, quite the character for the 1970s. Um, and then some cold weather photo tips. This, of course, depending on the quarter or um, term you're taking this, may or may not be applicable to you now, but keep them in mind for if you decide to go photographing at the South Pole in winter. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll see you guys next week and we'll check talk about that last assignment. Good luck, and I'll look forward to seeing images and reading about your photographers.